that fail was submitted to crash test. It was a really good one. I did end up putting the first video up on crash test. Check it out. Link is in the description. I just want to let you guys know that. Let's go ahead and dive into the BMW. There we go. Let's start going downhill. Yeah. What's up everybody. Today's a new day. My fingers are freezing. It's getting colder and colder every day. I think I'm mentioning that every day, but it's so true. My fingers, I've already lost feeling. These hood pins are not the most important thing I should be focusing on. These things don't even come close to what I really should be working on. This isn't the biggest fish I have to fry. Yesterday we burned out a Dremel. If we burn out a Dremel today, I will be very, very unhappy. As you guys see, my workbench is totally dirty. This workbench isn't much better. So Dalton, where are you gonna unbox this nice tool you just bought yesterday? On the ground. So I got the 4000 series. Like I said, I can't remember how long that one lasted me. I will put the date on this one. Hey, it's even got a name thing right on it. So I can put the name. I can put 3D machines and then the date. I already broke it. <laughs> Looks like the exact same thing. Hey, this is new. Ah, yeah, that's sharp. Ow, ow, ow. This thing poked me. That thing. I'm not quite sure what this is used for. I've never used anything like this. My fingers are really having a difficult time. There's, there's not even snow on the ground. My fingers are already going numb. I'm guessing that's a skinny person problem. My fingers are always cold. My hands are always cold. Get her locked and loaded for her first mission. You know, when you buy brand new things, it's the only time that they're ever put away nice and neat, and the cords are wrapped nice and neat, and then you use them once and it just it goes downhill from there. Goes downhill quick. There we go, let's start going downhill. Yeah! First plug-in ever. Now you gotta remember, this thing's brand new, so we gotta warm it up slowly. It's a lot quieter than my last one. The top isn't bad. The bottom's gonna be a I'm sad to say that this is no longer a brand new hood. I am happy to say that I got my first hole cut out. Well, at least I have my first hole cut out. Now I gotta clean it up. So I'm switching bits. I'm going from a cutting wheel to a, put this somewhere safe. I always put these somewhere idiotic and then I stop on them and then they're no good. And these things aren't cheap, they're like 12 bucks a pack and you only get like three or four a pack. So you gotta be careful with those. I gotta change to a grinding stone though. Make everything nice and smooth, like my cell. The grinding stone is actually doing much better than I thought it would, much better. As you can see, I'm happy to say that I have the first one installed. The new Dremel did a wonderful job. Now I'm going to drill the holes, run my screws through, and move on to the next one. I think I only want to pre-drill them and then take this off because this is actually made out of plastic and I don't want to bore the plastic out. I got them all marked. We'll rip it off. Drill bit's walking. Now I'll prime it so that we don't have any bare metal sitting there. It'll rust right out. Courtesy of the New York State weather or New York State salt. I misspoke, I meant etched, not primed. Now I have this etched, now I'm going to be careful, remove all of this so that when I go to do that side, I can use the same paint setup over there without wasting material. We got problems. Okay, as you can see, I have this one mocked up. It looks pretty good. Granted, I have some etching that went over the uh, the edge a little bit, but that's okay. That's not an issue at all to me. What is an issue is this hood has no clearance. 
What I mean by that is when I put the hood down, it actually hits the bottom of this bracket, or clip, clip I mean. So that piece of metal that runs across here is actually hitting the bottom of this. So it's not gonna close all the way, which causes the hood to look like this. And that doesn't look good at all. Unfortunately, I couldn't put it anywhere. There's no spots that these clips would really go. It's not a huge issue, but it is a huge issue. There we go. At least there is clearance. Once I get it all hooked up, I have number two in its position. Now I gotta drill the holes on this side. Here are the pros and cons for the hood project. Let me begin by saying I love to learn. I appreciate that it takes time to know how to do things like this. What I have a problem with is when the learning experience gets in the way of showing you guys my day and filming stuff. Because when I'm just sitting there struggling, I don't want to show that on camera. I'm sorry, my fingers are just freezing. I have to play with them every once in a while. Now, if I were to do this project without you guys, without filming it and documenting it, it would take me probably one-fifth the time. I probably would get it done in an afternoon, but instead it's taken me quite a while. And then I start getting anxious. That's no good. Anxiety is another form of stress. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of people that watch my videos that are probably like, well, what the hell is he all stressed out about? What is, what is he anxious for? He doesn't have a job. That's where you're sadly mistaken. Having a YouTube channel, it's like owning a business. What that means is you don't punch in at nine o'clock and punch out at five o'clock and just completely forget about work, okay? You go to bed thinking about work. You wake up thinking about work. All the hours between you're thinking about work. When I go to bed at night and dream, sometimes I dream about work. Sometimes I don't have dreams at all, unfortunately. Dreams are amazing. Dreams allow you to get the hell out of this world for a little bit. But the reason why I'm anxious is, is it is getting cold and I can't be working on the BMW every day. That, that won't make any sense. What I basically have to do is tie up all the projects that are going on outside, wrap them suckers right up, come inside and start working inside. Unfortunately in here, it's a mess. It might not look like a mess right now, but the fact is every single tool I own is out of its position. It, it's so time consuming trying to find every bit and piece. Now please don't take any of the things that I'm saying in a negative manner. We as human beings are thrown off once in a while. Once in a while, who am I kidding? Like all the time. It's easy to get stressed out and to get anxious. So when we receive lemons, we're going to make lemonade and we're gonna drink that right down. Well you guys, I just kinda wanted to get this done. I just figured I'd do it without you guys, sorry. But this is what I ended up having to do to that cross member. And now I'm ready to bolt my pins in. And then that'll hold the hood down. And as you can see, it turned out really nice. They look really classy. Now my recommendations are, if you own a BMW, stay away from hood pins. They are a huge pain in the ass. Do not do it, waste of time. Just go out and buy whatever it needs to have the click inside the car. So if my experiences can help you, then that's good. And I hope you take advantage of that. That's what I'm here for. You know, this is a team. We are a team, and together we can, well, sh we'll spread a little bit more happiness. I mean, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I just like to sit back with some Cheetos and watch some YouTube. And I know you guys like my videos because I see the like buttons right here. Don't forget to smash that thing. Do it right now. It's awesome. It's a good time. It's free. It does not take any time, and it shows your appreciation. I don't really see the negative. I, I cannot think of one single negative. Just do it. 3D machines. Like button. Smash it. Have you guys ever been working on something, like anything, and get right in the groove of things, everything's working fine, it's almost like perfection is happening, and then you just slip? Well, I had one of those oh f moments, that's what I call them, oh f moments. I just start getting in the groove of things, and then I just drilled into here without looking, and this actually goes down into the radiator, so then coolant was pouring out, so I took a bolt, put some Teflon tape on there, threaded it in there. We shouldn't have any problem, but that was just a stupid, stupid mistake. I could have totally prevented that if I just paid a little bit more attention, but things were going just too good. Everything was coming together like a puzzle, and I had the cheat sheet right in front of me, and then I basically took that cheat sheet, ripped it all up, and made a mistake. That mistake is that bolt and the hole that that bolt goes into. I just 
just want to show you guys before it gets too dark. The hood pins do work. I actually had to take the lights out so that I could refab this and bolt them in and everything. Taking those out made it a lot easier. It helped tremendously. There's that one. And there you go. Hood securely fastened. That hood won't come up at all. That's safer than stock. Yeah, thanks to 3D machines. Mm -hmm.